Hello. <laughs> Hi, it's happening. It's happening. We're so excited for this episode. We have some special, special guests with us right now. The specialists. But first, hi, I'm Michelle. Hi, I'm Vicky. And this is the Umcast. It's the Uncensored Moms Podcast. And today, we're we, like, we're like going mom. This is like, I feel like this is a real mom moment. This is a big mom moment. Yeah. Yes. And this is also, I think, the number one episode of the year of people like really excited for this episode. They cannot wait to hear from you guys. I think when everyone was like, wait, 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 you're going to ask, I want to know what my 10 year old or nine year old or 11, I want to know what my kid is going to say to these questions. So you guys are kind of like the representatives of all the children of the world. Ooh, I like <laughs> that. Well, we've got some good representatives here. So let's get, let's hear from you. If you guys want to tell us what your name is and how old you are and what grade you're in. Yeah. Melody, you want to go first? My name is Melody and I thought I was 10. <gasps> I thought it was a 10 podcast. It is a 10 year old interview podcast, yes. You were right, you are 10. Mm -hmm. And what grade are you in? Fourth grade. Nice. Nice, and? Uh, my name is River, I am 10, cause that's what this episode is meant to be about. Right. And I'm also in fourth grade. Awesome. So we are here interviewing River and Melody. Uh, River is my biological son. This is Vicky. And <laughs> Melody is my biological niece. Woo. Um, you've probably heard me mention her many times over several episodes when I think you've said something really cool. Sometimes I share it on the podcast. And it was actually Melody's idea um, to be on the podcast because she, well, to be honest, I forced her into oh. subscribing to our YouTube channel. As one does. And <laughs> I was like... Don't necessarily watch it, but I'd like you to subscribe so our numbers go up. <laughs> yeah, definitely and then, don't listen. <laughs> and then the other week, actually, no, just like last week, she's like, so I really want to be on your podcast. And it was like, that's actually a really great idea. And then I told River about yeah. it, and he was like... Yes. Oh, I was I was very excited to do it. Yeah. You like literally told me what days you were free, what day you thought would be good, right? Yes. And here we are. What day is it? Tuesday. What do we have on Tuesdays? Nothing. 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 Well, except for an after school club. Which just started today. Yes. That's brand new. You just started it and then did not go or you did go? I yeah, did. it's like right after school. Oh, okay, okay. What is it, River? Uh, it's rocket science. It's, uh, it's, it's where you launch model rockets and design them. Um, that sounds amazing. Yeah, it's fun. We didn't get to launch any today, but yeah. What did you say when I picked you up today? Uh, that my teacher is very, very funny. <laughs> and that my... she likes pickles. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's a him. Thank you. Oh. It's a mister. And he said his eyes were so dry because he had been laughing so hard. Which, yeah. you know, I didn't know was a thing. Your eyes were dry, River? Yeah. Well, you must have been laughing so hard. That's right. I was, definitely. <laughs> Great. Great. So, okay. Oh, man. We are really excited because, so River was born September 8th. Yes. yes. And then two months later, Melody was born on November 7th. So they are two months apart. Mm -hmm. I have these super cute pictures of me holding them both when they were just itty bitty babies. You're going to have to go to Instagram to see those. They're adorable. They're really adorable. And I feel like you're both... You're both the oldest siblings, and you both have younger brothers. Definitely. That and your younger true. brother, River, is how old? Um, eight. And your younger brother is? Eight. Look at that. You're mm -hmm. living parallel lives. It's amazing, and I can't wait to dive into these questions. It's going to be fun. Who's ready for the first question? Me. Me. Nice. Yay. Okay. So, we want to say thank you to all of our listeners and, you know, part of our Uncast Club because... These are all pretty much from that. They mm -hmm. want to know. The people want to know. The people want to know. I'm we, stressed. you know, we said we are uncensored, but we did censor a few questions. Yeah, when <laughs> I when I told River, I'm like, oh, let's do this, and, and he goes, it's gonna be like a family friendly episode. I was like, yep, it is. Yeah, <laughs> definitely will be. Yeah, my brother was like, um, can we keep this like just not weird, and PG, deep? I'm like, what did you? Who do you think I am? Do you even know me? <laughs> okay. So, our first question is, what do you guys want to be when you grow up? Uh, I'm either, uh, I think like 
an archaeologist. Oh, mm, I like that. Yeah. When I grow up, I want to do something simple first and then go, like, I want to, for starters, I want to try and work at, like, a pet guardian. And then get some experience there. And as I get older, I want to try and go up into a zoologist or a veterinarian. So start at Petco, mm -hmm. get your and feet then, wet, and um, work your way up to zoologist. That's so, a great idea. That is a fantastic Yeah, plan. a good pet job thing. Yeah. 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 Melody actually um, goes to these horse stables every weekend. Mm -hmm. I don't go anymore. I, I'm saving, my mom's saving up money. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. All right, I well. stopped doing something that was like $300 a month. <gasps> That's parkour. Yeah. Oh my gosh, parkour is so expensive. It really I know. Is. Tempest Academy. Yeah. yeah. They also both go to Tempest Academy parkour. They also used to play tennis together. Yeah. I'm telling you, parallel lives. Oh, yeah. so these are unplanned events that they both happen to be at. Mm -hmm. What well, it's nice to also like take a break from an activity and then come back to it if you feel like, oh, if I actually miss it, then you know, like, okay, I really like this thing, mm -hmm. you know. And if you don't think about it really ever, all right, on to the next thing. I guess I can live without it, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, River, tell me a little bit more about why an archaeologist. Is that someone who digs up things? <laughs> uh, um, I'm, uh, I think. Uh, I just, uh, uh, when I was younger, I just, I just liked picking up a shovel and digging. Yeah. But That's what I like to do. I like, I like going out into the woods and I grab a shovel. And I come up to my friends and go like, hey, let's see if we can find some rocks underground. Because we had like this metal detector, and then we had like our shovels, and we would go we're like, let's dig, let's dig, and we just uh, dig a big hole in the in like the woods. Yeah, like that, that reminds, reminds me of geocaching. Do you do that also? Yes. What's geocaching? Geocaching is where <clears throat> you can be anywhere really, mm -hmm. uh, just like camping, and geocaching is where. Uh, People have, people put like cases in the middle of nowhere. And, Intentionally. Yes. And then they put it on an app called Geoca Geocaching. And it, uh, you have to find it. <gasps> it's like, like coordinates. Like treasure hunting. Yeah. yeah. Um, do they bury it? Uh, they can. Sometimes. Okay, that sounds amazing and I want in on that. And yeah. then what do you do when you find it? You have you can take something, but you have to put something in that's uh, as a as and have as a have you found one? We found many actually. And we, what what was inside? Uh, we found like dice and like California keychains and mm. stuff like that. No that's real really treasure. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll uh, wait on that. <laughs> um, really great. So, what is it, Melody, about animals that you're loving so much? That, that's because I, I mean as far as I can remember you've had a passion for animals you even have an animal what kind of animal a chinchilla mm -hmm. and what I really like about animals is that they're like they could be like you can have a pet and they could just be like your friend and they're just there for you yeah, so that's really sweet. Sweet. also yeah. by the way I have a YouTube channel Oh. And the link is in the description. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Professionals. Professionals. Okay. What's your um, Wait, chinchilla's name? Uh, Pebbles. Very cute. And the channel is called Pebbles Chunky Beans something else I don't remember. Pebbles But it will be Chunky somewhere beans. in the description. Yeah, we're going to link to your chinchilla channel. It's just videos all about pebbles. Go check so it out. You love chinchillas. Subscribe below for the Click. listening. She's pointing below because these are our children. This today. is important. This is important. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Next question. Oh my gosh. All right. If you could switch lives with anyone in the world for one day, who would it be and why? I wouldn't. Ooh. Ooh. Tell us more. My life is good just the way it is. Wow. <laughs> I like that. Well, you know, I like that. That's a hard question mm -hmm. because I always wanted to see what it is like to be an animal. Ooh. Like, if you were a bird, what is it like flying? Right. I've always wanted. To or know. like, what is it? What is it like being colorblind as a dog? Or oh. like, we thought about this. Yeah. What about a cat? What is it like being a cat and being in full control of your body? Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so yeah. scrap human switching. You would love to swap with an animal for a day. Great. Love it. I always say that I was definitely a cat in a previous life. And if I wasn't, if I'm wrong, I'd like to be one in my next life. You know? If that theory is true. Well, obviously. I mean, that's... <laughs> That's what I so your kid. I have a dog. His name is Rose. Well, he lives at my uncle's house. I still like to think of him as my dog. He is like a cat. If it's like quiet and calm, he will hide under the couch. Mm -hmm. Under the couch. Wow, he's a small dog. So um, yeah. why don't he's you? He's a German Shepherd Lab. Why don't you have Roku anymore at your house? Because I uh, I didn't. I had a hard time taking care of him. I couldn't. He was really strong. Mm. And I had a hard time, uh, do, how did I put this? Uh, like physically manhandling him? Yeah. Yeah. I was like really small. So he, he would keep. This was a while I, ago. Yeah. He would like overpower you. Yeah. Kind of. I see. Yeah. So now you got your chinchilla who's just mm -hmm. likes to sit on your shoulder and. Yeah. Pebble. Pebble. All right. Well, I guess we can, um get into another question here let's see we mentioned earlier that you're both older siblings to eight-year-old brothers mm -hmm. yes and we want to know what that feels like what's it like to be an oldest child a big responsibility that's exactly what i was about to say oh tell us more because your parents your parents most likely is going to go, you make sure you have to walk over your brother, teach him the right thing as an older sibling. So he, so like if, if he, if you're, if the younger sibling gets older and they have to be more responsible, then they know what to do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, uh, what she said, but I have to add on a little. It's, it's just hard. It's, it's like, uh, sometimes a little sibling can be very annoying, and I mean, annoying. Exactly. Yes, it, it's very, it, it, it's hard. It's, it can be, um. It's like, they can be your best friend, but they can also be the number one person who knows how to annoy you the most. Yes. <sighs> Siblings. That happened the earlier worst, today. Yeah, the worst and the best. Yeah, tell us about it. So, my brother and I were playing Truth or Dare, <laughs> and um, I kept picking Truth, but he wouldn't stop saying Dare or Dare. <laughs> it's just so annoying. That sounds like my two boys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, as old as people who have younger siblings as well, Michelle and I, we relate. We know what it's like. For a second, I was like, I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, but knew that was coming. Mm -hmm. Um. So do you? But okay. With that said, do you guys like being the oldest? Yes. Yes. You, you wouldn't change spots. No. no never. Oh, okay. So you get so much more um, power over your siblings. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, okay. You get to stay home, which is good. And, and you're kind of like the babysitter. If yeah. you, you're in charge. You yeah. feed them. <laughs> <laughs> you are. I am. I am the adult of the house now. So I okay. I guess yeah. when it's just the two of you, like you and your little brother, mm -hmm. if you could give them like one tip of advice, like they're gonna be a ten year old one day too. Mm -hmm. What's like very true. one piece of advice you'd give them? I would say if we ever get another sibling, I would say like be prepared for big responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And failure. Oh. And failure. Because once you grow up, you're most likely going to want to have kids and you're going to have to have a big responsibility yeah. and take care of them and, I, and you need to be prepared. Mm. Tell us more about this failure. So, uh, like, I have failed many times at many things. Haven't we all? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And um, a piece of advice I would give them is probably try to stay away from the litter box. Oh, yeah. Don't hang out in the litter box. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is some great advice. Yeah. yeah. No one's ever told me that. 
So <laughs> you might have gone in there. Right. Yeah. And been like, what? Especially, I mean, I've never had a cat either. So yeah, we have three. that advice. <laughs> Stay away from the lip. Can we make that the title? <laughs> yes. <laughs> a piece of advice. I love it. I love it. Um, okay. So. Okay. Anything else about, about siblings? I guess we can move into the parenting phase of stuff here. Yeah. Okay. Let's get the real information. Yeah. Let's the get real the dirt. dirt. What is the most annoying thing that your parents do? And don't hold back just because your mother said I'm not afraid. I can take it. Yeah. We all have annoying parents, okay? I will. Vicky and I talk every episode about something annoying that they've done. For so sure. it just doesn't end. I'm 36. It never ends. So I'm curious at 10, what's the most annoying? It's annoying to think like when your parents want to keep you safe. You know what that your parents want to keep you safe, but it's kind of annoying that they like won't let you do what you think is fun. Like all the things you like. Do. I want to go on a bike ride on my own with my friends to like do other things like out near the streets yeah and my parents are like no i can't trust you and that, that's very disappointing yeah and i feel like i'm a baby mm. yeah yeah that is frustrating when you're like ready to go be independent i'm thinking you're going to sleep for a moment uh, you don't have to answer right now if you can't think of anything because obviously oh my uh, dad <laughs> My dad fell asleep driving. I know, it's a hard question. What? Well, I know. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> we'll come back to that. Uh, so, uh, some parents are an annoying because they don't follow what you want. Like, one time, um, I wanted to get ice cream, but they wouldn't let me. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. it was very, I was very mad. And then I wanted to get donuts. They also said no. Who are these mean parents you have? How dare they have these rules? I also wanted to get cake, so Oof. but they didn't. I said so that instead. So instead, we went to a park and it was fine. It's fine, but it's not cake. Well, yeah, it worked out. Yeah. It worked out. <laughs> well, what ang what annoys me is that I can't do um like bigger things, mm. not like doing bigger things all on my own. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Okay, so you wouldn't like, you wouldn't be afraid like when you say like riding a bike near the streets like that doesn't scare you at all. I would be afraid of Marcus King because he almost fell in the street. Yeah. On a bike. The same way you feel about Marcus is the way your parents feel, feel about, about you. you. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, okay. So well, so that might be you know. The next question of like, what do you think is the hardest thing about being a kid right now? It kind of sounds like the hardest part for you, Melody, is that you really want to just be able to like do whatever you want, whenever you want, but it's hard because you have parents and you're 10 who are like, nope. Yeah. Does, does that resonate with you as well? Uh, a little, I guess. Yeah. Anything else you feel like is hard? Choosing what to eat is hard. True story. I mean, true story. that never stops. That's the right. cabinet, the cabinet is full of food. I don't know what to eat. Exactly. So many options. Yeah, I just I just pick the thing that's sticking out the most. <laughs> like we have closest. Yeah. yeah. We just have the snack a uh, cabinet, and and I figure I think I just open it and then I find and I think I know what I want and then I just pause and I'm like. What was I gonna get again? <laughs> like, I look around and I try to remember, but then as soon as I close it, I remember, and then as soon as I open, it, I forget. Ten year olds, they're just and like then, adults. And they're then I like finally, mm -hmm. and then I finally remember, and then I get my snack, and then go on the couch and watch TV. Yeah, yeah that's what I do. I mean, that's what we all do. Really. Another hard part is I get lost in my own house. <laughs> Like sometimes I I'm trying to go to the bathroom, but I accidentally walk into the garage. That's what I do. Like I I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the office, but then I end up going into my room, which is the exact opposite exact opposite way. And the, earlier I was putting away my dishes, and I um 
I walked into my room instead of the kitchen <laughs> with your dishes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that was our, so hard things. What is like the best part of being a kid though? Fun. Just you, fun. It's fun. You get to have it's like you have new things to experience. And that's fun. Like, let's say for example, I want to know how to ski and I haven't done that yet, but if I do eventually go skiing, I think that's gonna be fun. Absolutely. I love that. You get to try all these new things. It's almost like I don't know if you can relate, but when someone starts a new TV show, and I've already watched all the episodes, but Vicky's like, I just started this series. I'm almost like, oh, I wish I could be in your spot again where I've never watched it because I get to experience it brand new. There's something about trying things brand new that are very exciting. I completely agree. Mm -hmm. Like this. Like this. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay. Um. Well, so... Your mom's obviously not very annoying, River. But um, what do you appreciate most about your mom? I did, I did not write this question, by the way. And just um, mom, not dad? Wait. That's what it says, but we can ask about dad, too. Sure. What do you appreciate most about your this parents? This is the uncensored mom. Giving birth to me. <laughs> wow. What, what, is, you know, what, do I, life? Wait, what do I appreciate most? Um, Taking care of me. Oh, no, go ahead. Anything That's you one of them, yes. Yeah, I love uh, it. The main priority is how she gives me all the food I eat and all the things I have and use to this day. Like, like she cares for you. Yeah. And, you Moms know, are great. She's, she's like the yeah. most, like, like a baby. She, a mom is the most important thing to her. Yeah. Is that how you feel about your mom? How about you, River Dundee? About uh, both yeah. parents. Yeah. About both parents, yeah. yeah. Is, there, is there anything different about yeah. like a dad that you appreciate about a dad that you kind of like makes them different than your mom? Yeah. The dad, my dad is more exciting than my mom. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, River? Uh, my dad is a little, uh, my dad is also more, um, uh, exciting than my mom because yeah. Extreme sports. Yes. And they run with you and they like wrestle and yeah, yeah. And they take you indoor skydiving. And they throw me sometimes. <sighs> oh yeah. Trampoline. Oh yeah. My dad we do this thing where like double bouncing as Marcus and I stay still straight and then he's like one, two, three and then he bounces us super high and we start screaming. <laughs> and then sometimes we buckle, which means bending our legs to mm. stop us from jumping really high. Yeah. That's really fun. Well, yeah, uh, mom doesn't do that. I guess us moms no. need to double bounce more on the trampoline. No, no, that's cool. That's cool. Mm -mm, no, that uh, I, I would highly recommend you do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Talk about school. Okay, yeah, let's cool. talk about school. Let's talk about school. Yeah. And you're both in fourth grade. Mm -hmm. It's no longer like easy preschool, easy kindergarten. No. It's not the alphabet. You guys are like one grade away from entering middle school. I'm pretty sure that's two. Because including fifth grade, well, that's one of the. It's yeah. two. But it's, you know what? Right. Close. Right. Real right. close. It's happening. Right. Yeah. It's and coming. So I want to know, like, what's your favorite thing about school? But then also, what's, like, the hardest part about school? Best thing about school is that you get to learn things, like, in history. You learn what people made mistakes back then and that you don't want to do it again. Mm -hmm. mm, all that other stuff. It's teaching you new things that you didn't know yet. And hard they get it's challenging it's not like preschool easy you know it at the top of your head mm -hmm. it's a lot harder you actually like pay attention and learn yeah yeah river um i think the best part about school is probably um i like math i like math a lot math is yeah i love math too yeah i'm starting to get into like uh, vertices and angles and stuff like ninety degree turns. That's amazing. Like, yeah. We're, like yeah, using yep over my head. We're doing yeah. division, uh, long division. Nice. I I haven't done long division. Or maybe they did. I was just sick that one day. <laughs> <laughs> just one day. Just, so sorry. It's just sad. Just <laughs> sad. So sad. Yes. Yeah. Very sad. Um. Okay. Hold on. So, let's talk more about like the friends dynamic. 
Like, are all fourth graders just friends with everyone in class? No. 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 Definitely not. No. There's one fourth grader in my class who's 11. Uh -huh. He was held back in first grade. He also missed the cutoff. Mm. And um, his name don't, is... We don't have a His <laughs> name is... Uh, um, don't worry. I'm not going to say it. Okay. But his name is 11-year-old fourth grader. Yes. Okay. And um, <laughs> he's uh, very reckless. Oh. And he, he has... Front flips in class. He just like jumps around <laughs> and he he like sits in everyone's seats. He's um like yeah. Needs to work on his manners a little. Probably mm. he's he's he yells a lot. Mm. And oh, he he plays he listens to way too much music on his Chromebook. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just the sits subject. in the middle of class. Yeah. Okay. I ha I used to have a student like that. His name I'm not gonna mention his name. Uh -huh. Privacy. Um, he screams in like, while well, everybody's having a good time at lunch, talking to their friends, all of a sudden, they hear a scream. One time he said, I will kill you and then I'll eat you for some reason to one of my friends, hmm. which is weird. A little bit. A little bit. Why would you, like, why would you say that? If someone said that to me, I would be a He was sent to, he, he was sent to the principal's office. Mm. Do you guys have like are there bullies in your classes? How do you guys? Like, no, that? I go oh. to a Christian school, so. Oh, Christians don't bully. Christians don't bully. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, yeah. You heard it here. Let's hope People. it stays that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yep. Mm -hmm. For me, I don't have any bullies because I have a lot of friends in my class. But to other people, some people that I'm friends with might be bullies to my other friends. Mm. Yes. Oh, no. I, I have no idea. I have no so idea. there's this. Person. Girl. Mm -hmm. She's friend with another girl that's also my friend. She's super sweet. She's smart and she we have a little competition in math. We play this math game called 99 Math and mostly I beat the whole class. Anyway, she Just won she, <laughs> two girls won today because I was having a little brain fart. And um anyway. <laughs> oh River's clapping for you. Yeah. Anyway, this girl that I mentioned first, she seems, you know, like how some girls have rivals against. against boys do too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, these are these two girls that have a rival against each other, and they're both r really good friends with this the other girl that I said that's really smart. And then they kind of mostly fight a lot over being friends with her, and they can't. And then they. And the thing that makes me angry is that they don't recognize how the girl that they're fighting over feels. They mm. just worry about what they think. So they both want to be her best friend, kind yeah, of, and but, they fight over yeah. her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can relate. Yeah, three three girl three friends are can be hard sometimes. It's hard to everyone for everyone to feel like they get enough attention. Yeah. So I understand that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next question. Okay. Next. Um, presses the button mm -hmm. that says next. Yeah, I, I wish you know, I kind of wish we did have a little like next. I have a question, we don't. River. Do you say sus? <laughs> of course, really? No, not really. Okay, not well, that you often. Used to Explain say, to me, River, what to. sus means. Suspicious, mm -hmm. use it, use it in an example. So, um, before I get to the example, I have to say where it came from. Mm. Um, it's because it's, it's from a game called Among Us, and people say red is suspicious, but someone accidentally typed sus, and then it became a meme, and then everyone started saying it. Thank and, you for yeah. explaining that. I've never known why my niece mm -hmm. here and my nephew say sus. They put their hands in like a weird checkpoint mm -hmm. on their chin. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows it. And say, that's sus. Mm -hmm. oh, what? You're super dun, sus dun, 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 when you dun, do dun, that. You're so sus. Dun, dun, dun. You make that so, but wait, so wait, kids are not saying that anymore? The imposter is among us. No. Oh. oh, we're, not we're, really. oh. Except me, except me. Okay, but not a lot of 10 year olds no. Now I got my whole class saying. to say, like, you're being kind of sus. Mm -hmm. What do you no. say now? Uh, like, what do people us. say now instead of sus? Or what's like the new Yeah, like word. what's a phrase, what's like a thing people say? Imposter is among us. I don't know. I heard um, b my boys 
recently both say um this oh these oh did you still say that i didn't say the whole thing these nuts mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just oh, yeah, your <laughs> aunt no your aunt just went off the rails <laughs> But they yes. use it in a sentence. Um, when does it come up? When do you, when are you saying it? I never. Oh. My friends are like. You my friends sometimes say it. Oh. What do they say in a sentence? Like when I like, when I'm like, I don't know. All right. Sometimes I just go randomly and like, mom, with these nuts and like, bro, chill out. Or bro. nobody, nobody Someone needs to, say like, nobody needs to hear that. Yeah. yeah. See, and I appreciate you saying that. Someone would say, um, knock, knock, who's there? Bees. Bees who? Bees nuts? Or like, <laughs> that. And someone would be like, uh, do you like bees? And someone would say, bees what? And I, someone would say, bees nuts. Like, why? These so like 10 dumb. year olds. It's For so the people dumb. who say that, it's I'm so sorry cringy. for you. It's so cringy. It's so cringy. It's super cringy. Yes. So people still say cringy. And it's sus. Definitely, yeah. Sus. Quite. Quite. We need to get a picture of all of us doing this after. <laughs> um, oh any other, God. any other like cool phrases or funny memes that you guys are like saying to each other, talking about, or your mom, your mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't mind. Yeah, funny. I've been. I have that's, heard them say your yeah, mom jokes. My a friend lot, says but. that's super cringe. It is. It's super old. It's too. It is. It is. It's, old. it's a classic. And, joke but like and from I, like decades ago decades. and there's this i was talking to uh michelle about it who I me you're yeah. calling michelle now oh, okay. aka wow. gomo like gomo aka gomo she calls me gomo because in korean gomo is brother sister it's not aunt anyway we're talking but about it's on this. the brother side because emo would be sisters oh cool or what's, mom's sister what's great i thought oh no that's how many huh what's uh, how many is grandma yeah. mm -hmm. So I heard Gomo. You can say Gomo. I like Gomo. Thank you. Anyway, you were talking Gomo's about what? Cute. We were talking about videos, and there's this one video I talked about. It was going to, like, he's like, these two guys walking at um, opposite directions, and they hit each other in the so shoulder, and this one guy's like, excuse me, bro. And the other guy's like, you're excused, and I'm not your bro. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Like, I bet back um, when uh, Joe Mama was first created. So, Joe Mama. Yeah. So, like, in the 1950s, they were like, your mom is very inadequate. Your mother is the most inadequate person. How dare you say such a thing? This is the 1950s, and this is how we talk. Apparently. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it was, it was that's probably how it got created or something. Okay, so I have a really important question to ask you guys. Okay. But if you could go back and do it all over again, would you? Do what? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought, thought when I read that question. I'm like, do what? I think it just means all the decisions you've made up until yeah. now. Yeah. Do you have any regrets? Many. Oh. Ooh, like what? Saying the F word on, uh, saying the F word when being, on uh, a uh, trash uh, can got run over, or ran over my toe. Okay, um, there's a thing about that. Yeah. My parents say it's okay to say it if it's like something important. Like, my mom says it when it's super bad or important. Like, one time, I had a hoverboard. Well, I do still have it. And we're racing down the hill. And it got out of control. And I went like this. And I don't remember if I said a bad word about it. I'm pretty sure I didn't because I didn't know what a bad word was. Mm. But at that time, it you, it's probably okay to say a bad word. Here's what I tell my kids about fair. quote unquote bad words. I like to say they're not bad words. That's they're just said. bad moments to say them. For example, in school as a 10 year old, That's you're probably not going to want to say the F word. We say the same Definitely thing. Not. Definitely and, not. Yeah, no, there is no such thing as I, I absolutely say there are no such thing 
as bad words. It's not a thing. The language is here to be used. Yes. I actually really like saying the F word in certain moments. It really gets my point across and makes me feel better. I like accidentally, on look, I accidentally, I heard right. that. I heard that one time. We did say it on the podcast. We say it a lot on the podcast. Yeah. Mark. I'm surprised I we didn't say it. <laughs> I one time went when I wanted to watch something. I'm like, it's so freaking funny. Yeah, but did you I say said the F, I said F word. You said the real F word. It it it, it makes it. It's so funny. Like it, it, it made it's it like clear this, how funny it was. Who did you say it to? Yeah. Huh? Who did you say that sentence to? To my parents. And what did they say? And I'm like. <gasps> And I covered around my mouth, and they, they weren't so crazy no, they were about probably it. Like, they, it is really funny. They were like, "You said it," but they, already. but they said, but they most likely said, "Just try not to say that." Or, yeah, it sounds like we're all very similar. Yeah, yeah that's what I. Well, that's what I. That's what you said when I said it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, this looks like I have two fingers from here. Um. Okay. What's <laughs> one thing you think adults do that is just like so ridiculous? Like what are what are things that like you watch adults do and you're like why are they doing why that? are they doing that why do they say bad words in front of kids speaking mm-hmm. of bad 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 words I mean in fact adults should be the ones showing the example hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so why are they saying the bad word in front of the kid to show you how important that word is mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and to show that you know what we're human we're not perfect no and there's also a there you know like yeah we're a mom to someone. But that's not all that we are. That's right. We're full humans with when we make mistakes and we have strong feelings sometimes and strong observations. Um, and I think that, you know, it's good for kids to see us that way, you know? That's true. Not always as these perfect role models because then maybe that puts more pressure on you of like, wait, do I need to grow up and be perfect? And it's like, no, no not at all. No, bro. That is, bro, that is sus. Super sus. One thing that I think parents do that is dumb is curl their eyebrow hairs. Their eyelashes? Their eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> That's because okay. they just want to look pretty, but I don't like makeup. Yeah, well, you don't need any makeup. I might be using makeup in um, a movie I might be making very soon. Oh, you're making mm-hmm. movies? Yes. They're not published. Melody yet. wants in. Uh, Melody so will be in your movie She's any like, day. Get me in on that. Sure. She We're gonna be her... using white shirts and a lot of fake blood. You would love that, wouldn't you? Yes. It's gonna be very. It's gonna probably be rated thirteen up. We'll invite. We'll let you know. Okay. We don't know when we're gonna make the first scene. Who's but... we? Um, uh, me, my brother, uh, my. Three other friends. I'm not gonna state their names. <laughs> they know. They know who they are. You know who you are. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. And then maybe it. Melody. Yeah. That's fantastic. I used to make movies all the time when I was a kid. Is it like one of those cameras that have like the little mm-hmm. window? <laughs> the little window. Uh huh. Uh huh. Just like pull we it use, out on the side. We okay. use an iPhone 10. Can use an iPhone. That's fantastic. Yeah. So our first movie we made was called the nightmare poop for some reason <laughs> it was actually really good it was made uh like three years ago that sounds scary like ads be like it is coming it is. out nightmare poop but mm-hmm. we're coming no- out soon in theaters soon. near you yeah. yeah yeah uh so uh we are remaking it now it's called the shaded man and it- it's it's about um like um it's a murderer running around slaughtering everybody and it's um yeah it's gonna be good. Is there any poop in this like, one? In a... No, it's the, no. Right. I I don't think I know why we called the first one the nightmare poop. It's just I think it's the fact that when you're younger you think Same. poop is funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, you ask my six year old, four year old, and two year old poop this poop. You're a poop. <laughs> Well, River, the reason he came out of his school today, and he's like, I was like, why was your teacher so funny? And he's like, because he talked about poop the whole time. <laughs> so it still works. Yes, yeah. it does. So, uh, Mom, can you put the, um, uh, the Nightmare Poop in the link to, in the description? I will put a link to... The first one. The first Is it on your poop. Is it's it on, on YouTube? YouTube? No, it is? I, well, I, I mean, what, what link would you like me to send then? 
Can you just send the video? Just to our address so that we can... <laughs> like, can't you just send... Can you just, like, take, just a, take the link just, of that video and, like... Just take... <laughs> yeah. Just we'll take the video the off the phone somehow and then just put it on the... Put I'll see what I can do. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. Hopefully. Just all of a sudden. Maybe we'll feature it on our Instagram page. Yeah, yeah. that'll do it. Now it'll work. A little clip. Yeah, maybe. Uh, oh, there is no anyway. poop in that one. Yeah, okay. There is no poop in any of them. No. Can you guys tell us um, what makes an adult cool and what makes them uncool? Like like an aunt. Like, so you guys have aunts and mm -hmm, uncles. Definitely. And what makes them cool? Like, what do you like about them? What they do that's like I like my I really like my aunt because she has a huge house and it has a trampoline and it, and she gives us like every time we uh, like go there to watch a movie she gives us popcorn she makes like s'mores oh, and like best aunt she makes rice crispy treats sometimes and it she makes just the perfect desserts uh and she's really nice. And she has two daughters, and they're like, uh, they're really, they're fun to play with. That's great. Yeah. So adults are cool when they make you yummy like, snacks, treats. Yeah, yummy snacks. Adults are cool, also cool because they can do all these other things that get, that you can't, and that you can eventually learn. But like, like, what do they do, like, like for you, or like that you think is cool? Like when you're like, oh, that's awesome when you do. Awesome when my dad goes snowboarding with me or like do stuff with me that are fun, like riding a motorcycle. What about that, me? Like, what, what do I do that's awesome? I I like traveling different places with you. Do we travel different places? We traveled here. Okay. When's we? the last time we traveled for <laughs> this? Or like we do things. That's. You know what I love about you? I love that we can just like talk about anything. Yes. And like that, like, like that. Easy conversation. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just like spending quality time with you guys, right? Yeah. Like yeah, you're paying yeah, attention yeah. to you and listening. Definitely, yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. That's all it takes. I also like reading. Reading's great. What is your, what are you really into right now? Like name like two, two kinds of books right now. What are we all looking at? <laughs> I don't know. Cat. I don't, uh, oh, probably. A stranger. A stranger, uh-oh. Probably a cat like hitting a door or something. That's so cat. a book I'm really reading is called um one piece yeah lots of one, one piece, piece. It's also my brother really love my brother loves to watch it he's watching it right now i'm sure exactly. august yeah. his younger brother is watching it a whole lot but it's you're good. reading it it's also yeah it's a japanese book format so it's read left to uh, right to left Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. So, that's how mangas like, work too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you start here and you turn the pages like this and you read the right page. Uh -huh. So like this panel. That's good that for your panel, brain. That panel, that panel, that panel, and that panel, and then it's like. What do I say when I when you're like, can you read? Would you read a book like this? What did I say? Um. That it would make you uh, dizzy. It would make you dizzy. Oh, well. It's sometimes when I uh, read a different, like a uh, normal American or like any other book format style, mm -hmm. I want to read it right to left American, and then I would spoil American the style. ending. Um, I want to know what you guys think is the most important thing in the world. Your family. Like, my, if my brother was lost, I would get very, I'll start look. Try maybe I like start going around houses, seeing if they fun. see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you, Olivia? The world. The world is the most important thing in the world. Yeah. yeah. Like the earth. You mean? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, or God is the most important thing to me. So tell us more about the earth. <laughs> <laughs> so I I just feel like the entire world is the most important thing because if it lost orbit of the sun, then it would. Like mm, we're getting literal we, here. We would die. die. Yeah, we would well, all die, true. and that's everything true. would be bad. And then everyone we like would be dead. True. Can I, I just talk a little bit more about the Earth? Because I'm a Christian. I believe in God, mm -hmm. and some people don't. Mm -hmm. To mm -hmm. to if you have a hard time believing God, here's a, here's a theory. So how would the Earth get in a perfect spot and, with the sun, and have like all this life and how did land just 
magically appear? How did water magically appear? How did the water separate from the earth? Well, some would say evolution. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or like, how did people come if they're Erosion. like, like before even see, before this, even the earth became the perfect round and in the exact spot, how could just a random single seed just come to life out of nowhere? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then start sprouting everywhere, and then all out of nowhere, there's a human. Right. Just interesting questions. Just very interesting, interesting questions. questions. Um, do you have an answer for that? Do you have an alternative theory? Uh, uh um, I, I don't believe in God, and I just listen to that. As, um, that is very true. That is very, that is a, that is one of the most popular questions. It really is. A mm -hmm. single tear. Yeah, but <laughs> it's sad that you. But um, that. I'm just sad. or it's actually really great that we have different humans living together, mm -hmm. asking questions together, mm -hmm. learning together, and that we all don't have to be the same. And that's that's totally okay too. You know, yeah. I believe in something else. What do you believe in? The Big Bang. Big Bang. No. All right. So I, I believe love you that um, the Big Bang be was created by God. You know what else? That. <laughs> That's you know what this is exciting stuff. Is... And let's just move on to another thing. Which speaking of the world, what do you think the world will be like when you are an adult? Mm. What will be different? I, like I think it's gonna be a difficult. It's gonna be difficult because you're gonna start have to living on your own. You're supposed, you're eventually going to have to get a car, work at a job, and soon eventually, you might eventually have to start paying taxes, and you well, have yeah, to, definitely will. And, you ha and you have to make enough money to live at that house, mm -hmm. you have to have enough money to keep your car and have gas, you have to have enough money to pay the You know, it's refreshing taxes. hearing you at 10 say that you know that's coming one day. Yeah. Because I don't think I thought much about that at all at 10 years old. No, not at all. And it was a rude awakening when I graduated college. Look, after college, man, it was like, what do I do next? I'm sorry, what? Nothing, no, no plan? Okay. Yeah, so what, you, what I think the world is going to be like is when I'm an adult, I don't think there's going to be such thing as wheeled cars anymore. Ooh. So, like, guys, um, according to Google Maps, people have been making uh, hover cars, like, mm -hmm. Like by sound, just like it's it's like very high pitch, so no one can hear it at all, and it just pushes the air down. What? So, like people have made in a um a little like uh thing. It's like, like a stick, and it has uh it has a bunch of speakers, and they put like a piece of crunch paper right there, and it's just floating. They're, they they made actually fly fly uh flying motorcycles as well. Yes. That they made that. That's amazing. So when you're an adult, we're gonna be flying cars. Definitely. What yeah. else? What else is happening when you're? An adult? I feel like um there are people aren't gonna have jobs. Like there are gonna be like automated system automated systems. So like there won't be the need for as many jobs. Yes. Hmm. Like like what job will be eliminated because of automated systems? Like. Uh, maybe like the at, at the first at at the start maybe it's gonna be like just basic jobs like an ice cream shopper. Mm -hmm. Don't need those restaurant. <laughs> well, we're gonna. I'm pretty sure people are still gonna need jobs because we need people to uh, actually work on those, and they ha they're gonna want to be uh, paid to do those jobs. Sure. So sure. I still think there's gonna be jobs that consider being paid money and all that. Mm. Automation maintenance i also believe that the government might take over the world oh they oh. already did because it's called the world government are we are we watching too much youtube i don't no. know uh -oh. matthew we we've been given instructions to not talk about the government yeah. uh, oh goodness gracious <laughs> okay i have a question so we asked what's the most important thing in the world you answered now I want to know what is the most important thing for you yourself to do or be in the world? Mm, to do? I feel like like what's the most important thing a human being can do in this world? Mm, I like that. 
uh, to have fun, just to experience your life and just have have a good life. Gosh, that's love it. That's the way I live. I Expand love and to and to take care of this one. Yeah, like we can. We're growing plants like that one over there. Mm -hmm. we're, yeah. gro we're we're helping the plants grow more and more and we're ha we're having human population grow 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 yep. and we also want to help the other animals too like the white rhino there is only two more in the world the white rhino there's yeah. only two yeah oh so boy. are so they both female or male wait a minute i'm pretty sure that the, there's a baby and a mom there and they're and we're planning to put the uh they're planning to help the white rhino expand by putting their dna into a uh regular rhino so they're so humans are still trying to ex make sure all of the animals aren't going extinct that's great really. i did a school project on that exact thing and i know that there the, uh, a white rhino died and it was a boy and it was the last boy oh no so they're gonna take boy dna and girl dna and put it in normal rhinos so they can give birth to white rhinos so that species can't so will they be pure white rhinos though they'll yes. be pure white so rhinos get, do they have the boy dna already they did yes, they, they extracted do. it from a fro he so he died well no, he, well, he died but then they froze the bot they, they he died and then he froze they froze the body they extracted d the dna from his brain and then they put it in a normal rhino they yeah. are also they did that before yeah. With, I think they did it with sheep or yeah. wolves. I don't remember. Yeah, something cool. like that. Yeah, I think they good. cloned sheep for sure. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Science. You guys are so smart. I love so science. So smart. Okay, one thing I wanted to mention was you guys, what is, do you guys know the name of this podcast? The Umcast. Um podcast. The Umcast. Uh -huh. And what does um stand for? Uncensored Moms. And do you know why, what we mean when we say uncensored? They say a lot of bad words <laughs> or... Yeah. Okay. And Anything so else? Anything else? What does uncensored mean to you? They don't censor. So what does that mean to you? What does that mean? So like, uh, in many videos I've seen, there has been censors, and that is um, when uh, there's uh, a little sound effect like, mm, and it bleep <laughs> and it bleeps out so a word. <laughs> yeah. so, so bad words. Okay. What else? What else is uncensored? If we're not just talking about saying curse words, like yeah, yeah, what's, yeah. what's like, another way to, what does uncensored mean? A word. All right. Well, so <laughs> we are, so we'll just, go ahead. You have something to say? Go ahead. No. Okay. Well, we say uncensored, yes. We do say any word that comes to our mind. That's true. But it's also an effort for us to just be as honest and kind of just, authentic yeah authentic as we can be because i think sometimes it's hard to be your true self all the time and we just hold in a lot of thoughts and ideas one one hour oh it's been an of hour. of this video but well of the of the video we're filming because yeah, look, no, the, deep thoughts. Yeah. Deep thoughts. You lost. Special, yeah. special. Anyway, as I was saying, um, but no, I think I think that what Biggie's saying is we call ourselves uncensored because we want to show up every day as our true self and not feel like we have to hide anything and getting yawn. <laughs> very, very into our story. So how do you guys make sure you are always like confident in who you are? I do stuff without thinking. Do something that feels right. Mm, I like that, I like that. And what if someone was like, why did you do that? What would you say to them? They why not? Of, oh, I like why not. I would say. So, what do you have to do? Uh, what? So, what do you have to do with it? Or it like, what matter. would you do? Mm -hmm. Mind your business. Mind your, your business. business. That, was, that was the title of our last episode. It's kind of like the theme of mm -hmm. life. I feel like. Oh, you yeah. know? Yeah. Like mind your own business and do what makes you feel happy, right? Yeah. And if someone else is doing something that maybe you don't agree with, that's their business. You don't need to make it your own either, you know? Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. Cool. 
Um, one other thing we do before we let you guys go, because it has been an hour, as you point out, River. Yes. Um, we usually, at the end of every episode, we talk about something that we're loving. And it can be anything. And it's just for that week. It's like, oh, yeah, we're loving yeah. this random thing. One thing you're loving this week. Do you guys have anything that you've just been really into this week and you're loving? I think I'm... I'm... I told Goma that I made like a dragon so sweet. I really, I really like making things. And besides, let's eat that off. I made this helmet for Halloween. So and for those listening, she's showing this green. Honestly, it looks like those Plants and Zombies game. It totally does. Like Plants versus Zombies. Plants yes. versus Zombies helmet thing. Um, is that what it's, it's supposed to, to be? It's but a witch's cauldron. It's culture. supposed to be like a melon. What? In this manga, it's about like everybody. There's like this thing that turns everybody into stone, and then there's this village that turned that there's these people that were into space, and they came back to Earth, and they expanded. And there's this uh, and there's this girl who wears this melon, and but and this is uh technically her glasses, and she Wait, made this. I really like it. I have a question. What is that manga called? You forgot? Yes. Okay. okay. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. We'll All find right. out. We'll find River, out. what's one thing you're loving? I think one thing I'm loving right now, this week, I feel like, um, um, there's been a Mario game I just started playing again, uh, for, uh, I haven't played it for about three years, and I just started playing it with a clean slate. Mm -hmm. And yeah, what's it called? It's called Super Mario Odyssey. You may have heard of it. It was made in like 2020 or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Fabulous. That was a good one. I remember I used to play that a lot. My, my boys are highly into Super Mario these days. You should come yeah. over and play sometime. Okay. Yeah. Um, cool. Michelle, what are you loving this week? Oh, we're sharing something too? I mean, I happen to have something. Okay, please share because I'm not prepared. Okay, so I have two movies that I saw this last week that just kind of made me happy. The first one is called Vengeance, and this is the movie that BJ Novak made. Um, oh, I think I saw that. It's yeah, like it's like where <laughs> like John Mayer is in it, see. and he go he has this, he goes to like Texas to solve a murder, or it's a death of this like a girl that he hooked up with a few times. And oh, like, I didn't see it. It's okay. good. It, yeah, I really liked it. I okay. like the way he did it. I like the story, plus John Mayer's in it, and I love a cameo, you know? Yeah, love it. And then the other one is called Glass Castle. Not new, but it's a book. It's a memoir. I don't know if you've ever read it, but it's, like, severely depressing the book. <laughs> like, very, sad single tear. It's very, it, multiple tears, honestly. It's so sad. But the, but the <laughs> movie, they did such a good job. And I just loved it so much. We're gonna have a lot of background noise here, and I, that's because that's how it is when we have kids. On hey, yeah. River what? and Melody, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, it was fun. It was so much fun. I enjoyed. I'm we should so, do this again. We absolutely should. Yeah. We when should. you're 13. Yeah. We'll be like interview 13. Well, maybe every how how they've changed. Wait, what episode is this? 89. So maybe on 190 and 200, every 100 episodes, we could do this. I like that. I dig it. Yeah. Thanks for coming, you guys. Yeah. Thank you. This was, this was fun. Bye. 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 Bye.